Here's Rodgers. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They've certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and press your advantage. So they'll oh, come up after the incompletion for Damn. second down. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. And my goodness, they're now out of timeouts here in this first quarter. Rodgers to throw on second down. And his throw is incomplete. All right, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle. Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. you got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has an alter when he does. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Jones on the return. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Ravens set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Well, we saw them there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back Watch inside it now, later. Barney, Barney. Set. Blue Lady. Blue Lady. On second down, Jackson. Ooh. Now he's going to throw deep back over the middle. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover go battle going to be key. They didn't go get go one go. there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, Defensive teams think they come in bunches. On third down, Jackson. Got a man, it's complete, Williams. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. Second quarter now, Brandon Garden, Charles Davis with you. It's the... First red zone chance now for the Ravens. They have a first and 10 at the 18. Back in that Philly, here we go. They'll run the option right here on first down. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know. Defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Watch it now, Barney, Barney! Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Now a handoff for Dixon. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. 
Under four to play now. Clock running. Gone, Third gone, down. Gone, gone. From the gun, Jackson. And not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays, and when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. On play action, now Rodgers. The left side throw complete to Adams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He got 29 yards that time. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Here's Rodgers to throw. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Play action. It's Jackson rolling to his right. Oh, get rid of it. Backer pressure and down he goes. Kyler Facker uh. in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Play action. Now Jackson. Uh-oh. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. The Ravens on third down. Just go, one for go, three go, thus far. Go, go. This is third and 17. Jackson. He's going deep. 101. 101, Brown. It's caught inside the 25. And he takes it down deep into Green Bay territory. A big time third down play for the Ravens. 52 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. A minute 59 to go in the first half. We're back to Baltimore after this. Down they go with Dixon. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. Tackle there by Clay Matthews. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. way forward here for a modest gain five yards on the pickup and it'll be third down 
Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing right, now, often alters the normal lock spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Gone, gone. Gone, gone. From the gun on third down, Jackson. That's complete right around the eight. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Third and four is always a tough call. Maybe a little too long to run for it, but not too long to hit him on the quick slant. And that was well executed. Found the window and zipped it right in there. Buying time to his left. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And not much on the return there. He'll take it only up to the nine-yard line. As much football as we watch, we've seen this work many times. In the red zone, first down, take a shot at the end zone, and points result. In this case, though, give credit to the defense. They outguessed them, were prepared, and intercepted the pass. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Drops it to Jones in the flat. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll bring up second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. On second down, here's Rodgers. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Being chased out left. He may try and run for this. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there getting him the first. Final shot before half for Rodgers. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we've come to halftime here with the visiting Packers out on top. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. More now on the return. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them guys we're right there just not playing as well as we need to let's pick it up and we still have a chance to win this game yeah they do we'll see if they can pick it up watch it now Barney Barney watch it now Barney Barney Mike's 50 Mike's 50 throwing on first down it's Jackson He's going deep That's for Brown. Well and a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tremont Williams. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield. To Just sitting back there. Five yard line. Right. 
Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at the 45. Now Rodgers. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Rodgers now on first down. And Graham's got it over the middle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And it's caught. And he can't go quite go. get there. Tackled down at the one. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. <clears throat> a great effort there. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Packers add on to their lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. More now to return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And the Ravens taking the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10, just shy of the 30. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Over the middle here to Brown. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all set and done. And that goes for a gain of 31. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And he'll spot Lastly open, left side complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. The Raven passing game getting in sync, another first down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Mike Daniels able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of a yard. On second down, here's Jackson. Dancing to his left. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for oh, it. And he run, slides that's down. Oh, and he threw the hole. Oh, oh, good oh. He can run for it, and he will. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Yeah. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So they've been in the red zone three times and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Jackson from the shotgun. Oh. Oh. Forced out to his left. Oh. That's complete right around the eight. No gain there on the completion. <laughs> It'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even oh, with that completion, zero your yards gained. So they're behind <laughs> schedule on down and distance. Oh, they were hoping man. to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Yeah. Gone, 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 gone. Gone, 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 gone. Now Jackson on second down. Oh. And that one got 
tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Third and goal, Jackson. We'll get through the hole. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Kevin King with a pick. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 16. To throw, it's Rodgers. Oh, pick it off, Mosley. And it's incomplete. What are you doing? C.J. Mosley there in coverage. Well, sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands, don't you? I mean, the offense is really struggling in this game. They're the ones keeping things going. They have to continue to play at that level. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Rodgers. He's going to let this one go. Try to get, get it to Cobb, and it's Let's go. Get up. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Here's Jackson. That dog on it. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time mm, today. What I see. Kevin King with a pick. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Graham. Touchdown, Packers. Jimmy Graham, 64 yards. And the Packers add six to their lead. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call. But he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put him in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where... The coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. I had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you got to do something to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Eluding the pressure yeah, right. Lord, I've seen them late. And this is incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. So after the incompletion, second and ten from the 22. They'll try the counter with Dixon. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Eight yards on the ground there, and now they're looking at a third and two. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. Back now in Baltimore. 
It's Packer football here as they've got the lead as well to begin the fourth quarter. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now a first down carry by Jones. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, that's a pretty good drive starter right there. And I don't know, partner, if you're even thinking about sitting on the ball right now. They may just want to run their regular offense. In plus territory. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't want your team to go into a shell, do you? No, you really don't. Because as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it's real hard to put it back on and mash it. Because once everyone's emotions come down, hard to start them up again. So I think you may want to keep them cranking high right here. They'll give it to him up the middle. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Rodgers now on third and goal. And this is going to be incomplete. The former first-round pick, Marlon Humphrey, there to get a hand on it. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And they're going to go for this thing. They're not going to leave anything to chance. They're going to roll the dice on fourth and goal. Now Mason Crosby for the Packers field goal try. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So that's one you almost never see at this level. A wobbler from very short range, and it winds up no good. All right, Brandon. If he slipped or someone got a hand on it, then I could understand it. But it's almost like you heard a whistle or something to stop this swing. A very strange result, especially for an NFL kicker. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at the 20. Now a play fake here on first down. He uncorked the speed. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. I want to go back to something you said in the first quarter is about it, winning. Is, is it a positive? It is a positive. Okay. Uh, about winning the turnover battle. As a visiting <laughs> team, as an underdog, you were right. They've done just that, and look where it's gotten them. It's part of the formula. When you go on the road, as you mentioned, being an underdog, winning the turnover battle is a big key, and this one's playing out in this one. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Second and 10. Here's Jackson again. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Tremont Williams there to break that one up. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. On third down, Jackson. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. And Jack. Pulling up in that new toy, the wrist on that boy, rock star like Pink Floyd, waving that rude boy, I'm waving at you boy, ran off on the f***ing <laughs> like true.